Good morning once again. I'm back. My name is Joy Mochache. As we continue Why in the Morning, remember today is Tuesday Entrepreneurship. And what we do is focus on different people who are doing different kinds of businesses. And most of them tend to be youth people. And before we meet our next guest, I'd like to let you know how you can reach us. That's Facebook, Y254 Channel. And on Twitter as well, Y254 Channel. Remember, we also have an Instagram. That is Y254 underscore channel. And YouTube, we'd like for you to subscribe and to watch our videos. You can even find this interview and many many more and that is on y254 channel on youtube as well and you can follow me on joy underscore mochache karibuni sana i'd like to welcome our guest thank you she's a graphics designer her name is masi Getaka. yeah yes Thanks karibu so sana mm. we're glad to have you on the show masi i'm happy can i just to call you by your first name it's okay it's okay yeah sour sour so you're a graphics designer yeah wow that's that's interesting. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's so interesting. Yeah. How did you get into graphics design? Uh, the love I had for art mm -hmm. made me have that passion to do graphic design. Mm -hmm. And started back years ago when I was so young, too young. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm still too young. Really? Yeah. You're still too young? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm only 22 years. You're 22 years? Yeah. And most ladies are not comfortable sharing their age. So I'm glad you're so comfortable with that. Yeah. I wish I was 22. <laughs> I remember those times, man. So yeah, make the most of it. Go on. Yeah. So I got the passion when I was so young. Mm -hmm. But now I started implementing it when I got in campus. Mm -hmm. I studied BA in fine arts at KU. Kenyatta oh. University. You did a BA? Yeah. In fine, fine arts. Fine arts. Yeah, okay. we call it art and design. Okay. Yeah, it's so broad. So I decided to major in graphic design mm -hmm. and a bit of animation. Uh huh. Yeah, but for today, let's do it in graphic design. Graphics design and yeah. animation. So the field is broad, and you decided that it's best for me to just focus on yeah. graphics design. Yeah. And can I ask, uh, how long have you been doing this for? Okay, I've done it for four years in school. Okay. But now about entrepreneurship, I think I'm in my fourth month. Your fourth month? Yeah. Hey, you're, you're precise, huh? <laughs> you seem excited about this. Yeah, very are you, much. Are you, how, what's your feeling? Are you happy to be um, doing graphics design? Yeah, I'm so much happy. Yes. Especially now that I got the title as a Madam CEO. You did? Yeah. Oh, where did you get the title? Okay, uh, the first time I decided that I should come up with this brand name, mm -hmm. Masi Duncan Creations. Yeah. And I thought of, why don't I call myself a CEO? Uh huh. Because my dream is one day it should be a very big thing, uh -huh. and I'll still maintain that title as a CEO. So okay. I always feel good doing it, saying that I'm a CEO uh -huh. at Masi Duncan Creations, uh -huh. a graphic designer, yes. an animator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels so good. You feel good. Very. It sounds good also, <laughs> CEO. Keep yeah. it up. You know, it's good to speak things positively. I believe True. in speaking things into existence. I'm one of those who believes when you say something, it comes to be. Yeah. If you say something bad, it will come to be. <laughs> if you say something good, it will come to be. So if you're calling yourself CEO, it will come to be. Amen. And uh, let me ask you, I've heard you saying, and I know your, your, uh, your particular brand is called Mercy Duncan. Yeah. Duncan... Duncan. Duncan. Question yeah. mark. <laughs> Duncan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where is that from? The Duncan um, part. Actually, most people wonder why Duncan, and yeah. my name is Masigidaka. Yeah. Okay. Duncan is my surname. Your surname. Yeah. So, it's Masigidaka Duncan. Yeah. Uh, really? It's also my surname, uh -huh. the first name of my dad. Uh -huh. And the reason I decided to use Duncan, it's because I was like, what if this thing becomes international? I don't want to be like, I'm a Kikuyu. Okay, I'm proud to be a Kikuyu. You should be. Yeah, but the thing is, I wanted to make it a bit international. Okay. Yeah, not I to look so African. But we have people like uh, out there, they even enjoying their names like Lupita Nyong'o and they like, <laughs> you know, saying that name and they butcher that name all the time because yeah. they're not used to it. Why but did you feel um, the need to change your African name uh, to I fit love, into international I love brands? I being MD. Okay. Yeah, because okay. I was like, MG, MD, I felt it so professional being MD. Mm -hmm. Masidan Khan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever your heart's comfortable with. True. And moving right along. I need to know what exactly made you enter into this. I know you said it was school. I know yeah. you said it's your passion. Mm -hmm. But there's a time a young person decides that, you know what? Mintafungwa biz. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'll open this business and I'm going to run it and I'm not stopping. Once I begin, I'm going to continue going. Mm. What made you get to that point? Because not many young people your age, 22. <laughs> Do you know what 22 year olds are doing? I know you know. Yeah, I know. You know what they're doing, <laughs> yeah? So what is it about that you're so young? What made you decide and to stay focused in this? Which is a beautiful thing, by the way. Yeah. Okay, when I was young, as I said before, I had that passion in doing art. So back in high school, I did art and design, mm. back at Motira Girls. And so the passion grew more and more. And when I went to campus, I was like, I should do graphic design. Because one thing with graphic design, you don't have to be employed at times. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you mm. can start a business by your own. Mm -hmm. So I was like, if I do graphic design, I'll also be able to explore more. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing with graphic design, you're able to communicate through image, through words, without even talking. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I decided I should do graphic design mm -hmm. and so far so good. Mm -hmm. I feel I'm comfortable in the field, mm -hmm. no regrets. Mm -hmm. Even being young, I feel I'm going somewhere. You're going somewhere. Yeah. And I'll touch on that a bit later on. Yeah. And since we've already discussed how old you are when you started it and what made you begin, mm -hmm. I've heard you when you're explaining say that, um, you know, uh, okay. <sighs> young people yeah. especially you know you want you don't want to have this nine to five job for you you'd rather be your own boss yeah. as i hear so you're your own boss yeah and that's why you call yourself ceo as well true okay and when you're explaining you said graphics design is something that explains things in images yeah you know the people who are watching who have had gra oh, graphics design yeah, I'm scared, but you know they don't know what it entails exactly true. now that we've discussed how you how you started off what exactly does this entail graphics design. You said it explains things through an image. Do you mind going deeper into that? Okay. In graphic design, you find, for example, you can express yourself too much using graphic design more than even how you, you explain by talking. Mm -hmm. For example, if I'm to do a production of a poster, mm -hmm. the poster can talk too much about what you want to talk about mm -hmm. because the images you use, the words you use, they have to express what you want to say it if mm. you are to speak out. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So graphic design is much of talking and expressing through images. I can say pictorial composition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think there's going to reach a point where they'll display the things. And as we wait for that, they, they display your images. As we wait for that, we need to continue with uh, um, getting to know each other. Yeah. You know... There's someone that, not someone, but I just know that, you know, what goes around. The knowledge is mm -hmm. that graphics design is a very male-dominated industry. True. That mostly it's men that take this venture. True. That they're, fe they're females, yes, but there are few of them. Yeah. So being a male-dominated industry, what does it feel like as a young, I mean, geez, 22, yeah. as a young youth female mm -hmm. in such a male-dominated business? Uh... I'm so humbled, by the way, Yeah. finding that I'm in the field. You know, when I was in campus, mm -hmm. actually most of the males in our class mm -hmm. were the top up. Okay. There were those guys in graphic design. So I was like, why we ladies, are we not so much into graphic design? But it, one thing I came to discover is in graphic design, you have to be so creative. You have to be so original in yourself. Mm -hmm. So most mm -hmm. people take it like, we ladies, we can't overthink or we, we can't don't be have so creativity. Creative. Yeah, we mm. don't have that creativity. So I decided to break into it and be like, I can be so creative. I yeah. can be so original in myself mm -hmm. and show out that ladies can also be in the field mm -hmm. and give out something so good. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll, ex we'll talk more about that. Yeah. But first of all, I wanted to understand this looks like a magazine cover. Yeah. Did you do this by yourself? Yeah, I did it by myself. Okay. Is this. Um, Okay, uh, what is this about? Okay, it's also a page in the magazine. It's a page in the magazine. Yeah. And what part did you play in? Uh, in the designing of everything. Okay. Yeah, I started it from the scratch. Okay. Yeah. And the bench, fun side of reality? Okay, this is a logo for a show. Uh huh. It's a show on a certain media station, so I had to do it. And they were like awesome and they had to They loved it. it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. It's, uh, it's very unique. It's Thank very unique. You. I like how the bench is on that side and it's kind of twisted, you know, facing that way. Yeah. 
yeah, me, I, I don't think I have this talent. <laughs> if you tell me, make me a poster that's written the bench fun side of reality, I'll just write the bench fun side of reality <laughs> and hand it over. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And as you said, as a, they think men in the industry yeah. tend to think that women don't have creativity. Yeah. You're a very creative lady from what Thank I've you. seen. It's, yeah, you're very talented. I think it's something that comes naturally for you. Yeah. Is there anybody else in the family that is um, doing art because when it comes to art usually it comes from somewhere you find like daddy <laughs> <laughs> always always yeah. yeah okay what i can say is mm -hmm. no one does art in our family uh -huh. but for my grandma uh -huh. she does the weaving of baskets okay so i think somehow i can put it as art because back in it campus is. weaving was also in the field of art and design okay but now for me i went ahead to do more on computer work. Mm. So I find myself, I'm the only one who does graphics in our family. Yeah. And actually, I recall when I was to go in campus and do art and design, people are like, Utaenda kazi wa api. Mm. Utaku naturana too. You know, people think art and design, it's all about drawing. Just drawing. Drawing someone and that's all. Mm. They don't know there's much into art and design. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm the only one. Actually, I'm the only one in our family. And there are always still some may be wondering, so where will you be working? Will mm. you be going to draw people? And not most people know about graphic design. You're yes. doing graphic design. They so don't they understand. Like, graphic design, where will you work? Yeah. And graphic design is everywhere. There's no company that, that doesn't have a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. And that you can, <laughs> you can be mm. sure of that. I Even in a sure. media house, mm. in a Java house, mm. everywhere. The graphic designers. The graphic designers. So yeah. those people should stop asking. Yeah, There'll always they be a place stop. for you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. And now that you've said your grandmother does some kind of art, yeah. what does your family feel about your work? When they see things like this, how do they feel? I can say they are my first clients. Mm -hmm. They are my first, okay, they really support me okay uh actually i really thank my parents so much my dad my mom mm -hmm. and my two big brothers okay they really support me in graphic design mm. because i recall when i finished campus they were like masi what do you want to do with your life i mean when i finished high school what do you want to do with your life i was like i want to do art and design but they were not there to say Art and design. Mm. This engineering, this medicine. Oh yes, no, there's always They were so much ready to support me, mm -hmm. and that's how I got into the field. Mm. Yeah. So they didn't try to make you into a doctor or try to say you should no. be an accountant, should be a lawyer. No. Ah, okay. You ah, know, those, they those, discovered those, those when are I was still young. Uh huh. So they had to push it mm. for me to get where I wanted to be. Mm. They yeah. saw the talent when you were young. Yeah. Right. Uh, those, you know, I like your parents. Go and <laughs> go and give them a good handshake for my behalf because, I will. yeah, it takes. Um, it's important for a parent to look at their child and see, yeah. oh, this is what my child is good at, True. and whatever your child is good at, you better maximize on it. Yeah. Maximize on it completely. <laughs> so they did the right thing, and that's good. Yeah. And you have parents, for example, their children come home and they're good at uh, maybe film production yeah. or some kind of editing or graphics design maybe, yeah. but their parents are not having the same mindset as yours. So they would say things like, no, this is, uh, no, how can you, no, we want you to be a doctor, I want you to be a lawyer, True. you understand? Yeah. But this is something that is an art in them. And the thing about art is, <laughs> I, and I think I've said this in another interview, the thing about art is it comes from inside. True. So when you do it, it comes out so well because yeah. it's a gift yeah. and it's something that you love. True. And so I, I always encourage parents, I'm not a parent myself, but when I get children, I'll be looking like, what's my kid good at? Is he playing <laughs> football? Is he playing an instrument? What is he? Is he talking well? Which one is it? Now maximize on it. it's the best thing. Yeah. So your parents have done well. Yeah. And I need to ask about um, competition. Going back even to the discussion we had about it being a male dominated field. Yeah. What's the competition like for a young lady like you? The competition is so high. Wow. So wow. high wow. because wow. nowadays graphic designers are so many. You know, nowadays you don't have to go to school. Uh -huh. There's the YouTube. You go to the tutorials and get the knowledge. Mm -hmm. So we are so many. The competitors are so many. So you have to be original. For you to come out outstanding, be original and creative in your own self. Mm -hmm. Look out what others are doing mm -hmm. for you to know. 
if this is doing this, if this one is doing this, what about me? What can I do to stand out? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's really great. And when it comes to your friends, I know you said that they asked you, where are you going to work? Where, you know, where's your office going to be? Now that they see what you're doing. Yeah. Um, and I know some of them are still saying that. Yeah. I'm sure you've gotten some support. Have any of them reached out, even family members, uh, to ask you, Masi, I'd really like for you to do for me an image concerning A, B, C, and D. Yeah. Has it happened from your close friends and family? Yeah. Actually, I've done one for my family. Okay. BRMS. Okay. It's all about rice. It's a R rice meal and stores. Rice. <laughs> yeah. Uh <-huh. laughs> so actually, they were my first client. Okay. That's support. Yeah. They were like, Masi, you're a graphic designer. We can go look for another graphic designer out there. Mm. So you have to design for us. Mm. So I was like, yeah, actually, I should start with you guys because you'll give me the support. Of course. The way and for my friends, I can say they also support me so much mm -hmm. because they're also friends who are like, nowadays, Masi, you're a CEO. I need you to do this for me. Yeah, mm. you know, that, that supports me. Yeah. yeah, and so they give you some kind of respect as well. Yeah. Okay, now I need to ask you things to do with the future because I know that young people, especially your age or even those ones who are a bit younger, mm. when it comes to the future, sometimes they don't even think about it. True. Am I right or wrong? True. Yeah, you find a lot of youth who don't think about the future. Mm. Yeah, they know which job they want. They know like, yeah, one day I want to be um, a lawyer and maybe they're in university for it. Mm. But they've not known, I want to target this particular law firm. So-and-so is my mentor. I need to speak to him at some point to get some ideas from him, things mm. like that. And so for you, when you look into the future, yeah. what are your plans as a graphics designer? For uh, both yourself yeah. and also for um, Mercy Duncan Creations. Okay, for my future, I see myself as a great graphic designer. I'm still great, but mm. much great. Mm -hmm. And seeing myself with that big company, where I even employ people, people coming for internships, attachments, and all that, and even exploring more to be so much international. That's why I also decided to use MD. Because okay. it's an international, I say it's international, it will get there one International day. brand. Yeah. Apart from you changing it to MD, what else have you done to take your brand to the level you wanted to reach? Okay, before then I was an intern at a certain media house. And back then I used to do so much of graphic design, that's why I decided now I should come up with the MD. Not to look like I'm doing for others, now I can also produce my own works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's great. That's great. So, my, I don't know whether I should call you Masi Duncan or I should stick to Masi Gitaka, but you know, I'm always <laughs> for what makes people comfortable. Yeah. So, CEO MD. Yeah, MD. Tell me, yeah. as a 22 year old, what would you say to somebody who would like to be a graphics designer, but they don't know how? Number one, they're scared because the competition is high. Very and I want you to talk to girls today. Yeah. Uh, that will be your camera. I want you to talk to girls and ask, not ask, tell them how to be yeah. in this male-dominated industry. And I know it takes a fearless heart. True. Yeah, I mean, eh, men are not easy <laughs> to be around. Wow, <laughs> maze. So I, I commend you for that. Thank and you. what would you say to a young girl who wants to enter a male-dominated industry, but she's just so scared, mm -hmm. and she just doesn't know the first step to take? Okay, what I can say to the ladies is, especially now the ladies since I'm young and I'm a lady, yeah. what do you want to do with your life? First, sit down, think, before you act. After thinking, now act out and be like, you want to be a graphic designer. Look for a mentor who can mentor you, who can mentor you on what you want to do, and also be there to explore more. Don't just sit down and want to do on your own. Sit with others to explore more. And after you've gotten the knowledge, don't be comfortable. Explore more to do more and more and more. Don't be comfortable on where we, you are. For example, I call myself a CEO. I'm not comfortable thinking that I've made it. I want to go more and more. So ladies, know what you want. Go for it and don't go for the sponsors. You can do it on your own. Amen. You can do it for your <laughs> own, on your own with God first in everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm so happy you said that. Thank That's you. That's good because you know, I know <laughs> you when we said we know what girls are doing at your age. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. And so we've encouraged them to go into business yeah. more. 
and it doesn't matter if it's a male dominated industry yeah. you know get that strength up put your braveness on there's nothing you can't do by the way sure. in this world there's nothing you cannot do as long as you love something and you put your mind to it yeah. and um, I'm sorry I believe in a higher power mm -hmm. and you give that thing to a higher power whatever it is to you yeah. Really, really, you'll succeed at what that is. So True. always, always know what, you, know where you want to go. That's the first thing. Yeah. Mercy is at is 22 years old and she knows where she wants to go. You know, yeah. she's done her university. I heard you saying something about a mentor. Yeah. That's also very important. Having someone who has been through what you want to go through, speaking to you and yeah. you speaking to them. You learning from the experiences yeah. and you making them a friend is very important as well. And who's your mentor? If I may ask. Okay, in the graphic design, my mentor is Ben Farid. Ben Farid, okay. Yeah, he's a great graphic designer. Uh -huh. And he has taught me a lot. Mm. Actually, I big up for Ben Farid. Okay. If it were not for him, I don't know if I would be so creative. What did Ben Farid do? <laughs> when I went Sounds for like my internship, yes. he really picked me up from somewhere where I thought I couldn't be. Where was your internship done? I was at Focus TV. Focus TV? Yeah. All right. So at Focus TV, Ben Farid. Uh -huh. I went as if I had never done it before. Okay. And he was there to start from the scratch. He took me through all the procedures, everything, till here I am. Wow. Yeah. Mm. So he pulled you up. Yeah. yeah. He really so did. you know, Mercy, you have to pull someone else up. Yeah, I yeah, have, you to. have to. <laughs> yeah. Let the goodness follow. You you can't yeah. be pulled up, then you keep it for yourself. You have yeah. to pull someone else up. Sure. So if any young girl reaches out to you at the social media handles, I will ask you to say yeah. soon. Yeah. If any one of them reach out to you, show them the ropes, you know, don't be stingy with <laughs> advice. Yeah. It always comes back to you. True. Yeah. And uh so before we close, uh do you find this being a business that you can stand on? Are you, yeah. Is it putting food on your table, enough food, or is it uh, a struggle? Okay, what I can say is, you know, money is never enough. Yeah. But I can say it has really made me be able to put something on the table. Okay. Uh, one thing with graphic design is that I love people who support us. You know, there are people who think art is very simple, they want to pay very little. Art is expensive because we are using our mind to be creative. Exactly. So you have to give us something big. Mm. And it has really made me rich where I am. You mm. ca I can pay my bills and all that. Okay. Yeah, but also it's support from my parents. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm really proud of you. I'm Thank proud you. of you as a young lady, as a young entrepreneur. Thank and you. And that you're entering into this venture. Yeah. Please continue to. And open up your world, open yeah. up your mind. And I know you want to go international. I hope that comes through for Amen. you. Amen. Oh, good, good. <laughs> and please, before we sign out, before I sign out the show, please let the viewers know your social media handles in case they need to talk to you. Okay, my social media platforms on Facebook, Masi Duncan Creations. Go like the page on IG, Masi Duncan Creations. And also Masi underscore G Duncan. Yeah. I hope they have gotten that. Mm -hmm. And remember, you can reach this channel and watch more of Masi Duncan and this interview again on YouTube. That is YouTube Y254 channel. And remember Facebook Y254 channel, Twitter Y254 channel, and Instagram Y254 underscore channel. You can always reach me on Joy underscore Mochache. And again, my name is Joy Mochache. This has been a wonderful morning with you people. Why in the morning? This has been Tuesday Entrepreneurship. And as we close off, I wish you guys a wonderful Tuesday and a beautiful beautiful rest of the week. Be blessed.